From the heart of the jungle comes a savage cry of victory. This is Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. From the black core of dark Africa, land of enchantment, mystery, and violence, comes one of the most colorful figures of all time, transcribed from the immortal pen of Edgar Rice Burroughs. Tarzan, the bronzed white son of the jungle. And now in the very words of Mr. Burroughs, the story of D for Diamonds and Death. In the village of the Onga tribe, the flames of the council fire leaped high. Frenzied dancers, their minds clouded from too much strong Kingala, whirled about the ceremonial circle. From time to time, they stopped to scream insults, and shake their fists at the hema of their chief. The Onga tribe was in revolt against their leader. And it was plain that violence would occur before Kuda the sun rose in the heavens. Suddenly, the dancing stopped. The drums were stilled. The savage cries of the natives were left in their throats. Is Tarzan... He's Lord of Jungle. Tarzan come? Tarzan. Yes, it is Tarzan. Why, you come, Tarzan. I come because word has reached me that you are in revolt against your leader. That business of Unga tribe, not business of Tarzan. I am the Lord of the Jungle, and I make it my business to see that the law of the jungle is upheld. Your chief has served you and your fathers for many years. Why do you seek to go against his commands? Always before people of Unga make village in place where there good water, rich land, many animals for meat. Yes? When soil not good, water dry up, animals leave jungle near village, Onga tribe move, new place. Yes, that is the custom of all jungle tribes. Now this land grow poor, but ye say, not move. People of Onga take vote, decide, kill old chief, make new chief, then go new land. I cannot understand the refusal of your Mawanangwa. But certainly he must have some good reason. Where is he? He come council far now. It's time to kill. Wait. There will be no execution until I learn the reason behind all of this. Jumbo, Mawanangwa. Jumbo, Tarzan. Your people tell me that you refuse to move the village, although this district is no longer fertile. Not move. But why? Not move. Unless you can give some good reason, your subjects are well within their rights to elect a new chief. You must give an answer. Me chief Unga many years. Father chief before me. Before him, his father. But my son not be chief if we move. Your son? Oh, oh the one who left the tribe to become rich in the diamond mines at Yagerstown. Yeah, for good, son. Come back someday. We move... Yafu not find us. Please, Tarzan, not let try move. Yafu not find us. I, I understand your sorrow, Mawanangwa, but you can't expect your tribe to remain on this poor land until Yafu decides that life among the Tamanganis is not good. Yafu come back. Then we move. When he come back? Oh, there is but one solution. I, I shall go to the diamond mines and find Yafu. He must return with me or renounce his rights as the future chief of the tribe. You look for Yafu. You bring back. Men of Anga, you must give me sufficient time to find the son of your chief before you move or before you go ahead with the plans that you had made for tonight. We decide. Tarzan, look for Yafu. Bring back my next full moon. Oh, but that gives me little time. It's a long, dangerous trip. I, I may have difficulty finding him. By next full moon, if not back, we kill old chief. Make new chief, move village. Tomorrow, men of Anga, look for a new place. You intend looking for a new site before you learn whether I shall succeed or fail in my mission? <laughs> we know. Yafu not come back. Tarzan not come back. Tarzan go land of diamond and... Death. In just a moment, we shall return to our story.
The great diamond mines of Africa are located in the Kimberley district at Duditspan and bordering the Orange and the Val Rivers. These are large underground mines with modern tunnels thousands of feet below the surface. But in distant Jaegerstown, antiquated open pit mining is still practiced. And the office of the Vincent Mining Company, to which Tarzan made his way, was a shabby affair housed in a sun-baked hut of mud. Martin Vincent, despite his wealth, employed no clerks or secretaries. Dressed in solid whites, he sat behind a massive desk that faced the door. Yes? I am Tarzan. I have come from the village of the Anga tribe to seek a native by the name of Yafu. Yeah. I believe he works for your company? Work. None of these ladies, natives work. Do you know where I can find Yafu? No. But surely you have records in your office giving the names of your employees? I have them inspected when they check in to make sure they're not too sick or too drunk to do a day's work. I have them searched at night to make sure they haven't stolen a diamond. Aside from that, I pay no attention to where or how they live. I see. And you can give me no information about Yafu? I can tell you he hasn't showed up here for these three days. Just when I need labor is the worst. If you dig him up, you better tell him to get back here by tomorrow or he won't have a job. If I find him, I shall tell him your words. Hey, you look pretty husky. You want a job? No, or... no, no. I am not cut out to be a diamond miner. <laughs> I wouldn't hire a white man to dig. Thought maybe you'd like a job as foreman. Look as though you ought to be able to crack a whip or use a branding iron. A branding iron? We find one of these rascals trying to make off with one of our diamonds... We burn a nice large D in his back. And anyone who seeks him knows him for a diamond thief. You never get a job anywhere else. <laughs> Thank you for your information, uh, Mr. Vincent. All of it. I shall leave now to search for Yafu. Well, don't forget what I said to tell that native. And if you ever change your mind about going to work for me, let me know. Jaegerstown sprawls for many miles, and Tarzan combed its endless rows of thatched huts, its squalid settlements of beaverboard shanties, its meandering streets of crumbling sandstone houses. But suspicious Negroes and shifty whites gave him nothing but evasive answers in return to his queries concerning Yafu. For everywhere within the limits of Jaegerstown, a stranger was regarded as a possible spy for the Vincent Mining Company, and man could take no chances. No, I don't know any native of that name. But in the river settlement, they said all the natives from Unga and the surrounding tribes patronized your cafe. Sure, they come in and load themselves with Pompey and Kangala, but I never get to know their names. They all look alike. They do not look alike, and I am sure you know the names and the whereabouts of your customers. Now, tell me. You're barking up the wrong tree, mister. I'm not giving you any dope on Yahoo. Oh, you do know him, All huh? right, so I know him. If he wants to hold up some place and not go to work, that's his business. And mine? I've traveled many hundreds of miles to find him and to take him back to his people. Uh, give me that again? I have come to take him back to the jungle. Well, in that case, I'll tell you where he was living last, although he may have beat it since then. It'd be the best thing in the world for Yafo to leave Jaegerstown before they burn that D in his back. <laughs> Afternoon, Yafu. Me, not Yafu. I was told Yafu lived here. He left two days ago. Not come back. Sorry. Do, do not close the door. Sorry. Not no more. You leave now. I am Tarzan. Do you remember my name? I, I come from the Unga country. I not know your name. Me, not come from Unga country. Come from Nuba. The tribal welts upon your forehead proclaim you to be a member of the Unga tribe. And those upon your wrists prove that you are the son of a chief. May I come inside and talk, Yafu? Yes. Come inside, Tarzan. But can't you understand, Yafu? Your father's life and the welfare of your tribe depend upon your speedy return. Cannot go back. Why? Yafu stay here. Make much money in diamond mine. I see no evidence of wealth thus far. This room is miserable. Your sleeping mat is nothing more than rags. Work hard. Some day have much money. You have not worked for the past few days. How you know? Mr. Vincent told me. He said unless you come back at once, you won't even have a job. Afraid go back to work. Afraid go home. Where is the diamond? 
diamond? Yes, the one you stole. Or was it more than one? One. One small diamond. Why did you steal it? Why I steal? You not know what is to sweat in diamond mine from morning to night. Swing mallet, crush blue rock till back, arms ache. Mud rushes come down, sweep workers away. Reefs fall, kill man next me. Landslides kill others. But that does not answer my question. Why did you steal? You received good wages. Me pay much for room, much for food. Yes, and much for drinks of Kangala. Yafu, your only hope is to return home. For your own sake, as well as your father's and the people of your tribe. They follow me. They find I take diamond. They always find out. They follow me anywhere. They burn D in back. Mark me diamond thief. Can I go back to people as thief? Me, Yafu, son of great chief. No, no, you cannot let your people know that you're a thief. Nor can you break your father's heart. But maybe Vincent's men not catch. Now, the guilt would still be in your heart, burning there, Yafu, keeping you from being a just ruler when you're a chief. Always coming between you and happiness. No, 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 Yafu. You must take the stolen diamond back to the mine. How? You must go back to work. At least for a day. You must return it in the same manner in which you stole it. If they find Yafu with diamond, they think he steal it that day. Yafu afraid? I shall be with you. You need not be afraid. Tarzan cannot come into mine. Only for workers. Well, then I shall accept Mr. Vincent's offer of a job. We will return the diamond together. If caught... D burned into Yafu's back and into Tarzan's back. D stand for diamond thief. I know. D for diamonds and for death. We must risk both, Yafu. Were Vincent a reasonable man, I would go to him with the diamond and the complete story, but I know his kind. However great the danger, we must return the stolen diamond. <laughs> In just a moment, we shall learn of Tarzan's fate in the diamond mines. Night fell, but although Tarzan was tired, he found himself unable to sleep in the oppressive closeness of Yafu's room. The jungle was close to the edge of the city, however. Tarzan finally rested in the friendly arms of a great tree. But by dawn, he had returned to the city. And Yafu and he joined the swarm of workers who headed for the Vincent Mines. And as they walked along, past the beggars and the flower vendors and the stalls of the open-air barbers, they spoke of their problem. Sometimes get orders carry something to sorting room. Oh, that's where you took the diamond? The deal. But maybe they not send Yafu there today. How did you get it past your evening inspection? The diamond was in Yafu's nose. He stained cloth with red berries grow near office hut. Yes? When Yafu walk past inspector, he hold cloth to nose. Say it bleed. For once they not put flashlight in Yafu's nose and ears. I see. But you could hardly be expected to get away with a trick like that twice. No. Must put diamond back today. Must get to sorting room. Uh, you'd best keep the stone on your person since they do not search you on your way in. If they hire me, I shall see if I can get into the sorting room. Then you can slip the gem to me, and I'll put it back. It sound easy when Tarzan talk, but Yafu work here long time. He know it's not easy to fool Vincent and his spies. Careful, Tarzan, careful. Yes, I guess I'd better be careful with my talk. This is the worker's entrance here? Nadio. <laughs> well, what have we here? Two new recruits? Me, Yafu, work here long time. Not new, Buana Vincent. You've been absent four days now. You're new. You'll go back to beginner's rate. Well, any objection? Uh, no. It's all right. Beginner's rates. You. You decided to take a job. Yes, sir. All right. Come with me. Dexter, check the rest of these birds in. Come on, you. to check my charts here, see where to put you. See now, section A, Gardner, section B, Van Hooten, section C. B. I guess the field jobs are all assigned for today. You mean you have no job for me? <laughs> Don't worry. We wouldn't pass up a chance to get a man of your size and strength. I tell you what, 
We'll start you in the sorting room. Work now. Uh, Lunch over. Some too hot for work this afternoon. Uh, Yafu! Yafu! Tarzan! Tarzan, you eat? There will be time to eat later when we're on our way home. Be careful. Spies everywhere. I know, I know, I know. Yafu, I'm working in the sorting room as a watcher. If one of the sorters leaves his trough for a minute, I can return the jewel. Now, when we go through this archway, brush against me and drop the gem in my knife sheath. Nadi. Well, I. I think I like it here, Yafu. Did you, uh, <clears throat> did you work hard this morning? It break much blue brown. It... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry I bumped into you. I didn't realize that passageway was so narrow. It's all right, Tarzan. It's all right. Get back to the mines, you. Tarzan, I don't like to have the foreman mixing with the man at mail times. Better get back to the sorting room. Yes, Mr. Vincent. And keep your eyes open. The auditor's in my office now. And it looks as though there's one diamond missing. Check table one. All okay, huh? Check table two. Right. Uh, just a minute, Mr. Vincent. Something's wrong here on these figures on table three. Tarzan. Yes, Mr. Vincent? Any of the sorters at table three leave their troughs any time today? The tables have been fully manned every minute. Except at lunchtime, of course. The missing stone wouldn't necessarily have had to be taken today, Mr. Vincent. These figures are for the full week. I got a hunch it's today. Attention! Everyone line up the far end of the room, facing the wall. Controller and I'll search all of you. Shall I help line the men up? Help line the men up. You get in line, too. I said everyone. I refuse to be searched. You refuse. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it, Dexter? I see nothing funny about a man upholding his dignity. <laughs> Tell him how funny it is, Dexter. I'll show him. You see this small cord here? Yes. I give it only a slight tug. All right, guards, grab him. No one's grabbing me. Well, I was right when I picked you for strength. Still, you were no match for eight of my guards. <laughs> they are strong men. He put up a good fight, though. That he did. Now, let's see why he put up such a good fight. I'll relieve him of his knife and sheath, and you can search him. Now, then. Oh, you will find what you seek inside the knife case. He was right, Mr. Vincent. Here's the missing diamond. First day at work, and he steals. I did not steal, but I would not expect you to believe the truth, even if I were free to tell it. You're quite right. I believe nothing you could say. Shall I have the guards take him to the branding room? No, I'm going to make a real example with this one. I'm going to show these thieving rascals in the fields that not even a man of Tarzan's strength and reputation can get away with anything here. What are you going to do? We'll build a fire right in the center of the blue ground. Right in the heart of the Vincent mine. It'll make the branding iron doubly hot. And the brand burn doubly deep. As the workers assembled, Tarzan was led into the mine. He seemed subdued, but he was taking in each detail of the funnel-shaped mining pit. He noted the giant windlasses that dotted the upper edge of the crater and the steel ropes attached to the great winders, which hauled the buckets of blue ground to the top. The tense cables formed a veritable cobweb of steel strands, a maze that resembled in many ways the tangled vines of the upper jungle growth in which Tarzan was so much at home. As the workers crowded in, Tarzan caught the eye of Yafu in the rear of the crowd. An unspoken message passed between them as the branding iron became white hot. Have them shut down the machinery. I want everyone's attention here. Joe, Pete, Ukio, shut off the winders. Quiet. Can I stand in front of you? I want your attention. The iron is ready. Keep it hot. Right. I want all of you to look at this man. He thought I didn't know who he was when he came to Jagerstown. I knew. I know everything that goes on around here. He's Tarzan, 
Some call him the Lord of the Jungle. But around here, he's just another working stiff. And he was found stealing a diamond. We're going to give him a very special treatment. I want you to watch. Remember, this is what'll happen to you if you try to steal what don't belong to you. Ready? Give me the iron. Hold him, man. No, no, not you, iron. Hold him no, good. No, now, then. Not firm, not firm, Tarzan. He not steal diamond. No, Who's that? No, One of the diggers. No, no. Yafu steal diamond. Tarzan tried to put back. Tarzan not steal. Yafu We'll steal. brand him, too. Yafu. Get him, guard. No. Now, you fools. Don't let go of Tarzan. Yafu, give me your arm. Climb. Climb. After them. They're climbing up the steel ropes. Come and get a gun. Yeah. Tarzan's half carrying the native. They'll fall. Oh, nothing. He's moving through that steel cobweb like a jungle ape. Where are the guns? Here they are, but I don't think they're going to... Give me one of them. Guns, the guns. They've almost reached the top of the pit. No one's there. You made them all come down here. Hey, we'll get them. Fire, you idiots. What are you waiting for? Now they're over the fence. The shots weren't even close. No, they're not in the clear yet. We'll follow them. Sound the alarm. I've given the signal. There it goes, sir. Yafu, Yafu have to rest. We can't rest until we're out of Jaegerstown. Oh, oh, Ascari ahead. The police. On all sides, they have us surrounded. We surrender to Ascari? Maybe they... The mine owners control the police. No, Yafu, we'll have to run until we get... Here they go, right over there. Oh. Oh. I want those men caught after now. Quick, Yafu, down this alley. Yafu, come, but he thinks... Hurry, Yafu. Once we enter this alley, they'll think... Oh, we almost attained the valley now. A dead-end street. There's a blank wall. We surrender now. No, no, there's a bamboo pole in front of that shop there. Stand at the foot of the wall, Yafu. If I can use this bamboo pole to help me vault to the top of the wall, I'll... I'll... What do Yafu do? Oh, oh, save Yafu. Vincent's men, come. Grab the end of the pole. I'll pull you up. I have... Oh. The jungle is just ahead, Yafu. Quickly, jump to the ground. Only a short run, and we'll be in my jungle, Yafu. No, Yafu not reach jungle. Everything cloudy, everything black, Yafu. No, no you can't faint, Yafu. You can't quit yet. All right, I'll carry you over my shoulder. And now, I swing myself to the upper level and head for home. It was soon night, and the pursuers fell far behind as Tarzan, with Yafu still slung over his shoulder, scurried through the upper level. This was the jungle, and no man of the city could catch Tarzan in the primordial forest. By the time Yafu had regained consciousness, they were near the Onga village, and the sound of the ceremonial drum suddenly made them realize that it was the night of the full moon. Well, here is your village. They're holding the showery. Look! Father still lives. It's time for death of our chief. Boss! Boss! Then you make me chief. Me lead you new land. The old chief will live, and his son will lead you to your new home. Is Tarzan... Tarzan, return. He come back. You, Tarzan, yes. you bring your food. Yes. My son, my son. You are tired, my father. Yafu help you to Hema. In morning, we find new site for village. Then we begin everything new. Yafu has learned lesson. He be good son, good chief when his time come. Tarzan, where you go? Back to my seacoast cabin. My mission for the people of Anga is finished. Together, Yafu, we have won great victories over evil from within and from without. And our greatest victory is mirrored upon your father's face. In just a moment, a preview of our next exciting story of Tarzan.
Perhaps when we mention pirates, we conjure thoughts of buried treasures and gold doubloons. But modern pirates do not wield cutlasses or make their victims walk the plank. Still, their diabolical crimes are sometimes crueler than those of the storybook pirates. We believe you'll enjoy Tarzan's adventure with these modern devils of the sea in Tarzan and the Pirates of Cape Bandera. Tarzan, the creation of the famous Edgar Rice Burroughs, is produced and transcribed by Walter White, Jr., prepared for radio by Bud Lesser, with original music by Albert Glasser. This is a Commodore production. Commodore production.